and get Amapel back up to check the surroundings. We can't see anything while it's down. Oh yeah, you can like you can like punch the the floor and put Alma back on its feet. I, I'm trying. Surprise me. <laughs> so we have to do this whole. Oh, it did it himself. Wow. It's back. Take a look, quick. Don't mind if I do. How do we fall? I guess it was just that lip. Dog, I'm like for real spooked. Wait, we don't even have to do that. We can just disarm it from here. Bro, are we stupid? My man. What are you doing, my man? You check the doctor. You do that a lot faster. Let's turn the security system off. I just thought I thought I thought I was being smart and thinking two steps ahead. Jesus. Okay. I guess it would take a while to decontaminate. <laughs> so cute. Doctor. Doctor. Uh, we lost the patient. And that looks like. A blade in his back. Uh, no, he's already dead. Seriously? I I just can't even fathom how this went down. Deadly seriously. He's dead as a door now. But uh, how? What happened to the doctor? No, we can't say for sure that he's dead yet. Yeah, his forte does not deal with forensic science. That's for sure. Come on. <laughs> Yuma, use Amapel to disarm all the security. Okay, now you'll let me do that. We'll go check it ourselves. I'm kind of scared, so I'll be staying behind. Deal? Now's not the time to say that. What? How about we disarm the security for now? That button should be around here somewhere. Yeah. Dude, thank God, because if I had to do this whole investigation with this slow effing robot, I'll be furious. Sheesh. Disabling all security systems. Activation has been recorded in the log. Yeah, let's not forget about the log. It's gonna say nothing. Then how did they get in? I mean, I guess that's the mystery. I was looking into, you know, I just, I read some science articles. I'm not trying to sound like a nerd or like a know-it-all, but one interesting theory with how technology is evolving is like, if we ever do gain dominion over the weather. If the technology ever becomes advanced to have, let's just say, perpetual rain in the Antarctic, All right? All security systems have been disabled. But that would just be... The status of every room is safe. That would just be snow. But my point is, you could easily make a hydro dam and just have basically almost infinite power. It'd be, it'd be pretty cool. It looks like the security has been disarmed. Yeah. Let's go, Yuma. Just be careful, Master. There's a high chance someone's hiding inside. Oh my god, I didn't even think of that. Oh, don't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fubuki, hold my hand! Hold my. Oh! Not, not that I'm desperate. It's just, you know. There is no more toxic gas, right? Mm, doesn't look like it. It should be safe. The floor panels have been deactivated. Let's run on through. Dog, what's in here? Why is the game doing. Oh, I'm like. This feels like a horror game now. I know it isn't, but, uh. What are we gonna find? Oh, he was really not joking around with the bare feet thing. Oh my god. I'm just, them, the grippers are just out. Oh my god. It's no use. He's dead. Damn. Why does it have to be such a bloody mess? Murder cases aren't my specialty. Thank Desuhiko. I didn't realize you were British too. Fubuki and you have a lot in common, actually. Wow. What's going on here? Why is there so much bloodshed in this town? I don't know, maybe it's cursed? It has been a while since we came to this city. But I still do not believe I shall ever get used to this. Aww, how pitiful. The detectives can't keep it together. Master, show off your investigative leadership here. Whoa. After all, your corpse discovery rate is the best in the biz. <laughs> She's rather... <laughs> <laughs> Trying to gas her man up. Well, my Yuma has tons of experience. Get to it. Like, <laughs> no, I'm still bummed about this. So, why was he killed when he was barefoot? That's kind of. I... You too, Master? <laughs> You've already seen a ton of corpses. Fubuki's right. I'll never get used to seeing this. The body's still warm. He must have been killed only recently. Who killed the doctor? No, before we even ask about who, how? The security system was still active before we arrived. Amapel proved it. How did the culprit get past the security and make it all the way here? 
And where did the culprit go? I think they're still here, Yuma. They're just hiding. No one seems to be hiding nearby. Are you sure? And we didn't come across anyone on our way over here. The culprit just disappeared. It's impossible. It's a completely impossible crime. The security has been disarmed. Oh no. What's going on? We're screwed again. This is bad. It's the peacekeepers. What do we do? It's over. We can't get clues. It's done. Oh, F off. Oh, they're already here. What's going on here? Why is a member of our city dead? And why are these outsiders acting like they own the place? What is this disgusting chaos? Um, please, hear us out. <laughs> I know it looks bad, but I definitely did into it this time for the fourth time in a row. So you did this. No, it's like... Your listening skills are lacking, buddy. No! Uh, by the time we got here, he was already... He's like, oh, yeah, that sounds ridiculous. Are you a natural-born criminal? Or are you death itself, visiting us from the other side? Yuma, should I turn back time? If we were holding hands, maybe... There's, there's no reason to. Don't move. Any suspicious movement, and I'll execute you right here, right now. You'd had to serve a combined sentence of 150 years. So I might as well give you the death penalty instead! W wait Turn yourselves in and I'll give you a chance to share your excuses. Also, I'll host a little party where you'll want to cough up all you know about the others and where they're hiding. And torture us, come on. So, you're gonna torture us? Who can say? We'll just have to wait and see. That's so... <laughs> God dang it, they've been so annoying for so long, but the idea of any of these people getting hurt. Especially Yuma, bro, I can't take it. But for now, we humbly invite you to the jail suite. Take them away. Shinigami, let's go into the mystery labyrinth. We would never make it out. Huh? For the doctor's killer? You can't, it's too early. We would be, that's just suicide, Yuma. There isn't a single solution key yet. If you enter the mystery labyrinth now, you won't be able to get out! But we have to! No! Are you sure? In the end, the only difference is either dying here or in the mystery labyrinth. If I'm going to die anyway, I'd rather... No, stop! Huh? Stop! Yako! Uh, what's going on? Do my ears deceive me or is that the... Uh, that's a blood-curdling scream of Kasuga. I... That was Chief Yako's voice. <laughs> yeah, it was. Huh? Did the chief just scream? Uh, maybe he found the hitman. Then. Oh, the peacekeepers would need to move. Ooh, he is so good at faking it, bro. <gasps> oh my god, no! What, what are you doing? Desuhiko, don't be a tear. Stop Yuma. it. Find Chief Yako. If we catch the hitman, we can prove our innocence. Oh my god, Desu. Hurry! Go! Uh, right. They, wow, they didn't fire. Chief. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> They're real. Huh? No! No! Huh? Shut up. shut up, shut up, shut up, come on. No! Fink. Stop it. The slaughter Don't artist. you dare effing kill him. What do I do? I need to help you. Leave me here. Just seek the truth. What are you saying? I won't leave you behind. No, dude, come on. It's too late. No, it's not too late. <gasps> Shut up. Fuzzhead is going to die soon. Shut up. What are you talking about? He can't die. He, just, he was just getting started. His wound is deep. It's fatal. I can't take this, bro. Even if you administered first aid now, he has no chance of surviving. Fire! I would never lie about someone's death. I can't handle this, bro. Shut up. No. 
What is this? I can't. They actually kill Yago. I can't. Uh, what's going on here? I can't even make jokes right now, bro. Gee, you're. You just had to sneak in one more kill, huh? Just true degeneracy. Please, treat his wound immediately. Uh, Frank, dude. At this rate, Chief Yago will. <laughs> no, I don't want him to die. So it all comes to an end with some internal strife. Huh? After an internal struggle, Yako Furio was killed by his own people. A pitiful fitting end for an unjust life. Shut up. Don't you dare talk ill of him. Hey, arrest this fucker we caught red handed. I don't know what to do. We blew our only chance. Please, save Chief Yako. It's just a chance. Please give him a chance to live. Should we? To hell with him. He's gonna die either way. Shut the heck up. You, you know you have the technology to save him. You just won't do it. Please wait. If you treat him now, he Please might- Please use your stupid technology to save him. What the frick? Uh, shut up. Why the hell would I help worms like you? <sighs> I was planning on judging you myself, but you went ahead and got yourself killed. How am I supposed to deal with my pent-up justice? Damn it. Damn it. Damn it! I... Oh my Damn God. it all! I'm furious. Stop. This is too much. Stop! Chief? Even the second time... The second time? Then that means... Uh... I'm sorry. I rewound time, but it was too late. If only I was strong enough to turn back time even further, I could save Chief Yako. I. Done. I, I'm, I'm done. I can't. I. <sighs> Those responsible for killing the doctor and that piece of trash are under arrest. This case is closed. We're done here. Take them away. What are you gonna do, Master? I don't know. <laughs> no. I gotta kill Yomi. I swear to God, I don't know how, but he has to die. Master, snap out of it! At this rate, everyone's gonna get arrested! I don't know, I uh, you. Master! He's just... I can't take this, bro. I'm out. It's over. Why did we come here? Freaking little mag, dude. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? <gasps> Halora? Is this the uh, Avengers or what? What's going on? Who's there? Oh my god, there's so- <laughs> Vivia! Vivia! <laughs> There's more than I thought. Jesus piss, Vivian. Hey, Alara, how much must I pay for you to handle my share? Uh, uh, this level. 100 shien per head. Oh god, things just got a lot worse. 100 shien? With the numbers here, that's enough for an entire book. What? What a waste. <laughs> I guess I'll do it myself. What? Your detectives. What's he gonna Alara, do? Vivia, you're late. Let me tell you one thing. That coin belongs to me. <laughs> You'll be returning it. You greedy freak. What's your problem? <laughs> God dang, you you nut. <laughs> what? Oh, whoa. <laughs> Vivia, so. <gasps> what is up with him? No. He won't. He won't get himself breakfast, but he can move faster than time. Take care, Yako. No, Yomi! You must die! What the? Oh my god, I'm bloodthirsty now. He's got an enemy. Yo, what? This chapter's nuts, bro. Oh my god, can we have a second to breathe? God dang. I guess he is a sloth. Vivia, that is. He just... He has a burst of energy when he needs it. There's no way they're killing Yako, right? Like, I get it. We're at the end of the game. 
And uh, maybe he had a death flag and I was just wasn't paying attention. I just didn't think they'd have the, the, the huevos to do it, you know? Like... <sighs> I don't like this. There's just no jokes. This just sucks. He just wanted to protect his city. We ended up getting him killed because it's freaking... Hey, come, uh, come on, come on, human. Let's go to my work. Uh-oh, you mentor and father figure died. Oh, what are we going to do? <laughs> no, don't cry. I am completely useless. I... No, but please just don't cry. The chief ended up like that. And there was not a thing I could do for him. Oh my god. Uh. Does Rico can use your disguise and wear a maid outfit? I mean, a nurse out. Ma nurse, nurse, nurse. Is everyone safe? I don't know how I got those two confused. <laughs> everyone. Except the chief. Uh, how is he? He's unconscious. His pulse is weak. Damn. How did this happen to the chief? Yuma, did you see anything? I did. Y yeah. It's. It was the killer. Yako probably just got unlucky and crossed his path. I passed a suspicious man when I went into the hallway. But by then, the chief was already. The chief said it was the hitman, Fink the slaughter artist. Then, he fell unconscious. So, it's confirmed the hitman got to him. Damn it all! Why attack our chief? I couldn't even pursue him. I let the hitman get away. He just come after you? Like, I, I, I'm sorry, Yuma. You did the right thing. I hate to... I mean... I know it's Yako's dying wish. You're not supposed to go against someone's dying wish, but god dang it, you can't... I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. No, you were right to not pursue him. Okay, but Laura's back in If you had, you might not be alive right now. But... Save your regrets for later. Right now, we must consider our next move. Even now, I won't allow time to be wasted. How did things end up like this? I should talk with the others about what to do next. I... There's one person I have an idea who may be able to help. Still never seen your forte, big guy, but... Vivia, I didn't know you were here at the lab too. Yeah, I didn't have a choice. Chief's orders. Really? You're our backup? I mean, I don't know, I don't want to sound un like I'm not excited about that, but... Although, I do feel a sense of wonder at the idea of a secret lab. I guess even if he is a crazy guy that wants to kill me and probably save the world, he... He is still a detective at the end of the day. I fully intended to take a lazy look around the place, but I wasn't given the chance to relax. I know, that's the real crime here. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm freaking out. I was dragged around by Halara and forced to search all over. Jeez, no one will leave me alone. Oh, I, all right, I can read in between the lines. Master, I get the feeling that he's- What? Huh? What is it? No, just tell me, Shimigami, please. The first time in your life, just tell me straight up. Where do you want to eat tonight? You always give me. I don't care. I don't care. Where do you want to go? Just tell me what you want, Jimmy. Got me. Nothing. Maybe it's just my imagination. No, you need to eat, Shimigami. I seriously, what? <laughs> Freaking. I just. Anyway. <laughs> I just finished getting the memory fragments. I was so excited. And now look at him. Come on. Please stay strong. I'm not, I, I just, I, this game honestly will be down like two points in the Johnny Awesome meter if he doesn't make it to the end. <laughs> oh, God dang it. He's still breathing, but he's lost a lot of blood. This is what death looks like. It's the same as every other victim you've seen. It's not the same. I won't let it be the same. <sighs> What is happening? I- I just- Halara, what brought you here? 
I was preparing to sneak into that restricted area we discussed. But just as I was about to leave, the Chief told me about the death threat. So I headed to Amaterasu with everyone else and snuck into the lab. After that, the Chief told Vivian and I to investigate the area. I didn't think it would end up this way. We should have stayed together as a group. I know, I'm sorry. I should have just told the truth to everybody. Dog. Uh, what's the Chief's condition? We've provided first aid, but... Will he survive? I'm sorry. I don't know the right lie to tell you at this time. Dog. It's okay, Halara. So, the chief... He's actually going to die. In any case, it's only a matter of time at this rate. We must get him out of here as soon as possible. But that's no easy task. We took out some of the peacekeepers, but many are still around. And Yomi managed to disappear. I wonder if he took advantage of the confusion and ran away. It's unlike him to quietly retreat. He'll return here soon with many more of his underlings. Then we need to leave this facility right away! The gate to the lab has been sealed off. Thanks to that, we can't even leave the building. The elevator to the ground level has been disabled too. So we're... He's... he's dead. We have no place to run. He's... No place to run? That's not fair. Oh my god. They would really just kill... I... Oh my... Yuma, I'm glad you're safe. I can't handle seeing anyone else covered in blood. Tesuhiko, are you alright? Yeah, I'll manage. Someone punched me in the face during that scuffle earlier. They damaged my precious money maker. Uh. Damn it! So, what do we do now? We can't stay here for too long. Right. Dude. <sighs> Fubuki, are you alright? Yes. I will be well once I rest a bit. However, my inexperience oh, resulted come. in the chief. It's not your fault. You tried your best to help. I was bewildered and confused. And you brought me all the way here. Thank you so much. You just don't blame yourself. I, I just, this is such a I'm bummer. I'm the one who's still inexperienced. He was right there. I couldn't do anything to help him. How can I call myself a detective when I can't even save a friend? There. Right now, you're still a trainee anyway. <laughs> sorry. She actually said sorry? Are you serious? Hey, you got a minute? We can't stay here forever. We have to take a chance and try busting through the front gates. I can't agree to that. Wagering on a bet you have no chance of winning is the same as throwing the match. Yeah, it's just too reckless. So you'd rather keep waiting until peacekeepers break down the door? Oh, right. We can use Fubuki's thing. I don't think so, Chief. Huh? Mine? Really? I am not sure it is worthy of showing off yet. What? What? Hearth. I'll leave that to your opinion of what they're talking about. I've no clue where your head's at, but I'm talking about your thing! Yeah. Your forte! Yeah. If we use that, we can get through the gate without being spotted by the peacekeepers. Even if they catch us, you can just turn back time! Impossible. The gate can't be unlocked except from the outside. A peacekeeper has to make a call on the intercom to get them to open it. They would never let us through. That won't change no matter how many times you try. Then what about Desuhiko's disguise forte? If he looks like a peacekeeper, maybe he can get us through the gate. I thought about that too, but my bag is outside the gates. You're kidding. I was about to say, that's our only... Well, there still is Vivi. The shorty detective is so useless. He can never help when we need him most. Not true, but... <laughs> 
Maybe we have no choice but to force our way through. Don't rush to conclusions. The roulette has yet to stop. Until it does, we must consider the best course of action. The best course? I don't know. What's left? What's left other than our ace in the hole, really? I... We're completely stuck. So this is where I finally die. Okay, if, 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 if he had an idea how to get out, I think he would do it. I won't let that happen. I will never let it happen again. I'm just... I'm actually just heartbroken. This just sucks. Like, I don't like it. <laughs> like, I know it's obvious, but like, frick. How did it end up like this? I got too reckless. If anyone's to blame, it, it, it kind of is Yuma's fault, but... We just happened to appear at the scene of the doctor's murder. Yes, that's it! Huh? What? The peacekeepers made up their minds that we're responsible for killing Dr. Weska. They don't think the hitman even existed in the first place. So what? Proving that doesn't help us in this situation at all. But what if we proved our innocence? What if we could prove this was done by the hitman? I think... Oh, Yuma... The peacekeepers would have no reason to apprehend us. They're still... That's really wishful thinking. Am I crazy for thinking that? But... Maybe, but still... I mean, it's, I guess, our only option. I'm so beside myself, dude. How do you intend on proving our innocence? That's right, you don't know about the mystery labyrinth. Ah. Don't tell me you're gonna catch that hitman and turn him over to the peacekeepers. I truthfully cannot tell any of you how I'm doing this, but just, just trust me on this. Let me look around. That's impossible. He's probably already escaped by now. Then we gotta investigate it. We have to investigate the doctor's lab and gather evidence of the hitman's crime. That's crazy talk. How do you plan on investigating under these circumstances? Besides, proving our innocence doesn't guarantee the peacekeepers will suddenly let us go. This facility is already restricted. They could make up any reason they want to arrest us. Right. You've seen how they act for a while now. That may be true, but... It's better than just waiting around and doing nothing. Besides, if... We know Yomi's not the... The guy that that killed him, obviously. But if he drops dead somewhere, they might be preoccupied by that, and, you know, we slip out. But we're detectives, aren't we? We have to stand up to them the only way we can. When all hope seems lost, that's exactly the moment to fight back as detectives. We must obtain the truth and use it against the peacekeepers. I agree with you, Ma. Oh my god, okay, here I thought he was having... You know, you know, just an over-idealistic speech, but if Halara's backing us up, I don't know, maybe, maybe he's bitten. Huh? Halara, thank you a bunch. It's true. Detectives should use the truth as their weapon of choice. I didn't expect to hear that from you, Yuma. Oh. You sure have grown. Oh, stop, you're gonna make me blush. But how do we even investigate? The place is crawling with peacekeepers outside this room. Still, it's not impossible. We have someone with the best forte for this situation. Vivia? Huh? Really? Could it be Vivia? We're gonna see it firsthand. Well, hey, partner, put it there. Oh, God. Interacting with him scares the piss out of me. <sighs> he knows. He knows our little secret. He's staring at her right now. Look at that. Okay, no, that's just my imagination. That's just where Yuma is. But, oh, uh, hey, man. Vivia, will you tell me about your forte? <sighs> I just remembered. I heard rumors about him back at the WDO. Vivia Twilight can supposedly solve crimes in his sleep. Is that literal? He has, he, he has a sleep talk move set. Is that what we're dealing with here? In his sleep? It's not a big deal. My condition lets me do detective work while sleeping. Kind of like how some people sneeze differently than others. In my case... Oh, just get to the point. We're running out of time. Can you or can't you do this investigation? Oh, the point? Well, the point is... At the end of the rainbow is an ancient battlefield. 
Can you just be normal for like two minutes? Our, our, our mutual friend is bleeding on the floor. Hey, can I punch you just this <laughs> once? Yeah, tiny man. You and I are on the exact same page right now. <laughs> just for once. <sighs> if I skip too much, you won't understand. Reading the first and final page of a novel won't give you any notion about the story. Uh, okay, he kind of saved it. I don't want to hear about some story. Tell us about your forte! <laughs> I'll explain. His forte is spectral projection. He can control his own ethereal self. What? He actually has a stand. We've been making Joe jokes for a while, and he... He just actually has a stand. Ethereal self. I suppose I should call it a soul or a ghost. He is not confined by the laws of physics. Well, god dang, boy! Which means he can pass through walls and floors. And all the while, other people cannot see him. And here- oh, oh, What? In other words, you can turn yourself into a ghost? That's why he could know about Shinikon. They're like on the same wavelength. So you can investigate without being seen by the peacekeepers. <sighs> Is that a yes or a no? I'm... You know, a sighing takes more energy. It takes more energy to frown than to smile, right? I won't do it. W Excuse me? Huh? What? Hey, now's not the time to back down. What a cow... Oh. I'm not asking you to read the room or whatever, but at least do something for your friends here. Does he not consider us friends? You think I don't care about my friends? I've made my decision because I care for all of you. Wow. What, what, what does that mean though? While you ponder, ponder, you know, the, read between the lines, I'm just gonna, okay, I'm good. You're all determined to fight. But don't you think it'd be better to do as the peacekeepers say in this case? No, man. Now is a time for action. You may be able to get Chief Yako medical attention in exchange for surrendering. Don't you think that's the highest chance of survival out of all our options? He's not wrong. Surrender! You gotta be kidding. Don't you have any pride as a detective? I just want Yako to live, bro. I'm sorry. Just having... I don't want him to have foot rubs in heaven, you know what I mean? Like, come on. Not at all. Whoa, that sure was blunt. Clinging to pride is why conflict will never vanish from this world. I hate conflict. I'd rather live in a quiet and peaceful world. Butterflies cross the lake, and snowy flowers conceal the moon. I simply wish to sleep soundly in a serene world. I was with you on the conflict thing, but I... <laughs> Come on, man. Is it such a crime to hold this small wish? You can't even say he's being selfish right now, because he is looking... Uh, for the bigger picture here of getting he just disagrees I guess <sighs> What is up with you man? If no one else is willing to say it then I will warn you It's a sin to waste such a talent given to you. Whoa, you are skilled as a detective However, you lack the willpower to make use of it. Oh my god. Hilaris P.O.'d. Why is that? Are you afraid of something? Or perhaps you are laughing at the rest of us. No, hold on. Maybe there's a downside, Halara. Come on, don't... Ugh. I'm happy to hear you have such high regard for me, Halara. But you're simply overestimating me. I didn't become a detective because I wanted to be. And as to whether or not I'm afraid, I would say that I may be. What the heck is up with your power? I can't even... I can't even comprehend what's happening right now. When you desire something, you're afraid of losing it. And yet, why does everyone continue to have desires? Is the truth even worth it? It's no use. I thought he was incomprehensible, but he's actually completely bonkers. Yeah, I I'm even having a difficult time following, and I, I thought we were kind of on the same wavelength too, but... 
Look at the chief. He's dying here. Doesn't it hurt your soul even a little? I can't believe he'd go and spout all this nonsense right now. I mean, he has been saying from the start he wished he could die, so... I apologize if I've offended you. Don't worry. I'll stop talking. No, come on. Stop fighting. As usual, I'll simply go to a dark place out of sight, out of mind. Master, you gotta stop him! Wait, what? Why? What's going on? Vivia, please, wait. I don't understand what you're saying, but I know we need your help right now. If you say you won't cooperate with the investigation, I don't mind. But in exchange, will you please hold hands with me? What if he refuses? That would pretty... Dude, that pretty... Would... I mean, would he do that? After all this? I got you the book. We hung out eight, three times exactly. You can't do this small little favor? Are you trying to make up? I don't remember us fighting to begin with. Oh my god, what is this act he's doing now? No, I just want to borrow your power. No, Yuma, don't even tell him that much. Huh. This is your coalescence, is it? You knew and were just playing dumb? Hmm. Oh my god, what else is he pretending to play dumb with? Well, if it's just holding hands, I don't mind. I have no reason to decline. <clears throat> Wait, what's up? Shinigami? What's going on? Ooh, what is this sensation? I knew it already, but this guy is strange! Why is she vibrating? What the dumb? Strange? Yeah, he is kind of a weird person. That's not what I meant! So, you can now use spectral projection? If so... I must warn you, when using my forte, your body will act as though you're asleep. You better lay down before you begin. All right. You mean this whole case, we're going to be right next to some guy who has it out for us. You'll be defenseless while using it, so be careful. What? Well, everyone is here, so yeah, we don't have to worry. H Halar and, and Fubuki and Desuik have got our backs, right? Also, your ghost form doesn't mean you're completely safe from harm. Well, I thought it was like, your ghost girlfriend won't be able to help you either. But, uh, uh. Hey, Yuma, do you think you can do it? I don't know, but I'll try. Can you watch over my body in the meantime? Uh, yeah, you can count on me. Go and investigate to your heart's content. We'll handle things here. Understood. We'll make it snappy, though. There's not much time. I need to proceed with the investigation and get everyone out of here. I have to do this for Chief Yako. God dang, Fubuki's case compared to this one? There is no comparison. This power and everything. Dang, they're really holding this shot. Like, <laughs> Two boys holding hands, oh my gosh. Shinigami's so worried. She actually loves him. Like, she's got to. Wow, your soul actually came out! There it goes. Straight up. So this is spectral projection. It's strange to see myself outside of my own body. Let's see. Ow! Wait, it didn't hurt, but it feels like I bumped into something. Is it because I've become a spirit like you, Shinigami? Looks like I can smack you directly now. I'm loving this. Oh, God. That's... This makes me feel really uneasy. Yeah. Well, I guess in the mystery labyrinth she Lucky could smack for us. You, I'm here. Now we're literally soulmates. Oh boy, I'm in heaven. <laughs> I. Oh my god. Forte is once again just straight up creating the coolest cases imaginable. His soul has probably left his body about now. Huh? You really? He doesn't look all that different to me. They don't do anything dangerous, Vivi. Come on. Looks like Desuhiko can't see me. I'm sure I can investigate without the peacekeeper spotting me now. By the way, Yuma, I'm sure you're hovering right above the floor near us. You're only doing so subconsciously. Right now, you're truly free from the shackles of the laws of physics. Wait, so I can go up a floor? I can go in anywhere? I could even find... I could see what's in the critical room. Similarly, it may at first be difficult to pass through a wall, 
due to the preconceived notion that you'll be blocked. Right, my mind isn't open enough yet to realize I can go anywhere. To begin, try passing through a door. Your consciousness views doors innately as passageways. Okay, that's a, that's a smart way so they didn't... Like, <laughs> they didn't have to... Like, okay, yeah, you can just move on all axes because this game is definitely not made for that, but... Why don't you try it out? All right. I'm passing through the door. You and I are the same now, Master. Shut the frick... Oh, she wants to make it so... <sighs> Maybe she's just truly happy to have someone in the same plane of existence as her. Like, I don't know. She's still a girl with a disgusting mind, but like, I don't know. Like, maybe now she'll appreciate us a little more. I swear to God, bro. I'm getting, oh, for, I just walked over your fate, my bad. But I don't know how, I don't know when. I'm a, let's F and go. Let's F and do it. He's going ghost. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's you, my baby. Wow, <sighs> you really made it. This means I can freely go in and out of places I couldn't before. <laughs> Stay in the obvious. Oh my god, yeah, they're oh, so not the kidding. The brightly lit now. Seems like the regular power is switched back on. Anyway, we got to investigate the murder scene. We need to hurry up before more peacekeepers arrive. I just realized in that... Okay, in the last chapter when he was saying he was viewing things from an aerial view, he sent his ghost self into the sky and looked... Yeah, that's... Yep. All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. This, oh, what the? This is freaking Boo Ma Luigi's Mansion up in here? Are those? Oh my god! They're lost, wandering souls. They're your natural enemies while you're in ghost form. And you have to deal with this every day, Shinigami. Dang, I'd be in a bad mood too. Shoot. Is this what Vivi was warning us about? Yeah. Just be careful not to touch them. What happens if I do? You'll be joining them! <laughs> I can't wait to see that! Uh, let's not. Why are you excited about that? Anyway, let's be careful and make sure not to touch them. And here I thought... Time for the tutorial! Shinigami would be excited. Oh, Things are gonna get nuts! You straight up have a friend. No, I'm just still like, eh, what if you died, oh, lol? Okay. Oh my god. Go. This is... Okay, you gotta admit. The game has some technical issues. The game's not perfect as far as... Call me trash, Miss Hall. Ew, ew. She's not even hot. Like, not even a little, bro. My point being, you gotta admit, stuff like this is crazy. Top secret lab, and it's filled with ghosts, and we're a ghost investigating it. Like, that's effing... That's kinda sick, bro. I also, real talk, don't know how to progress other than... Maybe here? Oh, oh okay. Close one. Ooh, Jesus. They're everything everywhere. It's flowing like a waterfall. Oh, yeah, you're right. Look at that. How do we... If you just touch one, you're screwed, right? Okay, just... just ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, this is actually fun. What? <laughs> I mean, yeah, this has totally been fun, but... You know, it feels almost like a platform. There's so many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, just let me do my thing. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, freak. Whoa, oh, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not that serious, but... <laughs> Gonna write an apology. I shouldn't have asked Miss Hall to go on a date. That's... You know, I just... I don't know. She looked lonely. Just, holy dump! I don't... Can we even get through this one? Do I have to go the long way? No, no, no. There's This, this is the only path. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold, hold up. No, there is a path. Oh my god, okay. It's gonna be a little tricky, but we just gotta sandwich ourselves in between these two. If I do this first try, dude. Oh, 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 dump. Oh, freak. <laughs> this is. So okay, this is just effing mean. Oh, come on. They're like. Oh, dump. Dang it! <sighs> Overwhelmed by cringe. Oh, to to the crime scene. come on. I don't have time to waste. Go, go, go. One's gonna come up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just chilling a bit here. We're just chilling a bit. We're just chilling a bit. Okay, now go. Now go. <gasps> Freaking Jesus! Hurry to the crime scene. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even try that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're going. We're, 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 we're moving. We're moving. We got it. Easy peasy, right? Easy peasy. <laughs> oh, frick, we did it. Oh, thank God. All right, that was a little easier than the 
the explosive puzzles in the last chapter, but we actually We're did here. it though. I hope there's no one inside. Who cares if there is? Not like they can see you anyway. True. It's a matter of how I feel. Even if they can't see me, it'd make me uneasy if peacekeepers were there. Hmm. So that's how it is. I'm already used to it, so I didn't notice. Hmm. Lots to think about with this. It is cool that they actually... Yeah, I, I just... I don't know. Nobody's here. I guess the peacekeepers have better stuff to do than investigate after all that happened. I guess I am a little sad, though, to finally learn of the last forte. Like, that... That kind of sucked. I wonder if the doctor's body is still here. Maybe the doctor's soul is still floating around here. Unable to pass on. Wait, then we can just ask him a question, right? Like... <laughs> I just scared my soul. <laughs> hey, if we meet the doctor's soul, maybe we can ask him what happened. This may be weird coming from me, but I doubt it'll be that easy. Let me guess, when you're a lost soul, you don't retain your memories. Just convenient. I enough. guess so. We'll just have to take this one step at a time. Yeah. Officially starting the investigation. All right, let's get cracking, yo. Oh, well. What was that? Shinigami? I, 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 sorry, I interrupted. That's what she said. Okay, got it. Master, don't rush things. Let's check for clues in the front chamber first. You think there's something in here? Oh my god. I, I truly didn't even think of that. Oh, right, the computer. This intercom is connected to the doctor's lab. I spoke to Dr. Weska a few times over this. We were talking on the intercom when the incident started. Dr. Weska, I'll come get you. Can you shut off the security on your end? Huh? Wait. What the... Dr. Weska? What's wrong? Wait. Who are you? Help! Somebody come help me! I just had a really bad idea. If... Lil Mac... Hired this assassin... That may... That means he's responsible for killing Yako. Indirectly, but... Doctor? I mean, doctor? he's gonna live. He's gonna live, for sure. We'll get him a doctor. I, if the doctor I, was attacked by someone, that means the intruder was already inside at the time. Did they stay inside that room? For, no, that's impossible. He would not, how would you not notice someone for over a month? So, uh, where did I put those dried cranberries? Oh, that, wait a minute. They weren't over there. Like, the assassin would have been... Have, would have been stealing his food, etc. <laughs> Let alone the smell from defecating. Like, no one's that good of an assassin. So it has to have been the hitman. How did he get inside? The security system was still active, so it should have been impossible to enter. How did the killer get in? And where did he go after murdering the doctor? There has to be an alternate this route. Is the Let's check it out in case there are any clues. Like, this can't be the only entrance. That's the only way this makes sense, because he didn't pass through us. So, you know. Let's, uh, let's peep around. Suspicious master. This is the decontamination device. If toxic gas leaks from the other chamber, this device is supposed to ensure it doesn't spread. What's inside the vents? I want to scope it out further, but I'm too short. Master, did you forget you're a ghost right now? Wait, hold up. No, wait. Can we actually fly? Oh, right. I can just do this. Oh, no. Only in, only in you know, these pseudo cutscenes. <laughs> there he goes. I'm floating. Whoa. No kidding. The spectral projection is such a convenient forte. If that anemic vampire joined the investigation from the start... This could have gone much faster. Very true. Maybe, but there's no point in debating it now. I guess for his character's sake, yeah, he was just completely against the idea. The vent has a cover with bars on it. It looks hollow inside, but it's too dark to say for certain. The cover has a hinge on it. It looks like it can be easily opened and closed. Oh, that's right. I can't touch it since I'm a ghost right now. Right, so we can't look inside to see if there's a way to sneak around. But there's no need to open it with my hand. I can just stick my head inside. Oh, true. Okay. Go for it. There's a lot of space in here. 
Hey, maybe this was the way out. The intruder must have come through here. So that's it, right? That solves everything. Now it'd sure be a huge waste of such buildup. This is the main part of the decontamination. Oh. Device. During decontamination, the fins rotate to suck out air. The structure isn't built for someone to get inside. It's designed to filter air and nothing else. But couldn't you maybe destroy one of those fans? This couldn't be used as an escape route. Well, having an easy escape out of a locked room is like covering your pizza in anchovies. How's that? Uh, and what's wrong with anchovies? I, I, I think they're fine. Because it ruined the whole thing! <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, sure. Wait, have you... Have you eaten a pizza, Shinigami? I... The cover is easy to open and close. Probably for maintenance. I guess she does chat on a cook. Oh, yeah, yeah, back, back on topic. The vent, the vent, the vent. There's no harm in remembering this. It could be a clue for something else. Possibly. I mean, ha some, we have to find some clues at some point. It is, a, it is a video game after all, but this one does seem almost impossible. We've arrived! It's the dangerous toxic gas chamber! Once it detects an intruder, it'll pop out toxic gas. It's a room with a terrifying contraption. Shinigami, we both saw it in action. You you saw me use the robot. I... Well, it's disarmed, so there's nothing to worry about. Also, you're a ghost, <laughs> so it wouldn't detect you anyway. Right. Can't infect my skin if there's no skin. Let's check this out, too. Sure. What could be the harm in that? Genuinely, though, I mean, this one room, you cannot interact with it. You'd have to go <gasps> around. Yeah. So my idea was, you know, if Lil Mac did hire this assassin, he could have potentially had someone tamper with the airlock room, right? And make it to where one side of the airlock connects to the other side of the airlock. That way you bypass all this poison. That'd be pretty tough to do. But if that's not what, what happened, I'd genuinely be so surprised. this is where the toxic gas comes out. It's supposed to be super fatal, right? Yeah, the toxic gas is bacterial, so regular gas masks aren't supposed to work against it. Even if you hold your breath, it'll be absorbed through the skin, and there is no treatment for it in the world. The bacteria takes time to spread through your body, and you'll supposedly die after about 30 minutes. Someone said you need a spacesuit to move through here safely. Such a scary trap. Whoever invented it won't have a peaceful death. You already know who invented it. Wait, that already <laughs> happened! <laughs> Was she just pretending to forget? So I... There doesn't seem to be a secret exit. Which makes sense, as it defeats the purpose of having a toxic gas chamber. If that's the case, how did the intruder get through the chamber? Right now, I have no idea. Mm, yet again. This may be a water gun situation. Where I even I'll admit I was like, oh, dude, just it's not the water gun. But look at the diagram here, which I conveniently opened up by like throwing it on, throwing the controller on my lap. But if you could somehow just skip this, which I don't know if that's possible, there has to be walls or something connecting, you know, this area. There's not just like a dark void here. Your problems will be so. Yeah, your problems will be solved because that first. Lobby area, they already told us that room is never locked. So you'd be fine. But, uh, Yuma only put his head through one of the vents. I feel like they wouldn't they wouldn't be like, oh, you know, Let's there's actually the next one. something was tampered with. It was just not the vent you checked. That would be kind of a low blow as far as the game and goes. We've arrived at the last room, the panel chamber. Yeah. There are nine panels divided in a three by three grid. Well, trust me, I couldn't forget it if I tried, Shinigami. <sighs> Make one mistake, and you get zapped with high voltage. Make a lot of mistakes, and you're still getting zapped a lot. The high Not voltage canon. isn't just a threat. We've seen what happened to Amapel. All right, Pete, Amapel. <laughs> it's not a problem since security is disarmed at the moment. Also, you're still a ghost master. Really, I bringing that up, huh? Press a little too fast there. Let's read the clue. There are nine panels, three by three. You must step on the right order or get shot. Right. Good luck guessing that on your... Oh. Attention! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we got here? This is the decontamination device in the panel chamber. 
It looks like it's here to purify any toxic gas that escapes from the oh. chamber next door. Hold on. Why did I think there was an identical purifying chamber on this side, too? That's not the case. Dude. That means you still have to... Man, the doc thought of everything. But the cover doesn't open and close like the decontamination device in the airlock. There's no way someone can fit through. So there's not... Am I... Okay, am I going bananas? There's not a... Yeah, there's not another airlock on the other side. Also, Amapal did not effing die. Why did I think that? We're not done investigating. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the door. Sorry. Oh, there's also people in here. Jesus. And here's what all that security was protecting. Pressing the switch opens the door to the doctor's lab. We managed to get this far earlier, thanks to Amapal and Fubuki's forte. Hmm. I see it all like it's flashing right before my eyes. The button? Flashing? I... Looks like this is it, oh. my man. <laughs> Flash Hurry up and hit that switch. We just need to stretch Amapal's arm out to that switch. We're in a hurry, but this door is moving so slowly. I just had an idea. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nope, I'm stupid. Never mind. Sorry. Moving on. <laughs> Yuma, that should be good enough. Hurry up and move on my belt I, I just said, in the it, door. It was such a ludicrous idea. Like, there's... It, it's, not, it's not even worth showing. No, Johnny. Someone will ask in the comment section. Tell us what it was. We remember opening oh, yeah. the door. I'm going to be honest. I like, need to pull back the arm first. Now what was up with you? that? Hurry, Yuma. Why did they give the robot such an odd restriction? I remember the trouble you had waiting for the door to open. It opens really slowly, and we also had to retract Amapel's arm. Wait, was that when the the killer escaped? No, because we disarmed all the tra- What? We tried to hurry inside, but Amapel suddenly fell over. There were no steps or obstacles, so why did that happen? I think that was absolutely the assassin escaping. But if that's the case, we- then why did we need to hit the button to disarm all the traps? The poison room, etc., still would have been armed. I'm sure it was pushed by the fleeing culprit. Or is it or is it because we cleared all the puzzles, right? Like we're good. I don't think so. It has to be it. Which means we passed by the culprit as he headed out. But we just didn't see them. Man. Does that mean they did their research to know about Alma Pal's like weaknesses? I don't know. God, this is a crazy case, though. <laughs> and you gotta hand it to the, the devs, you know? They wanted to make puzzles that functioned well in 3D. This is a room. This is like a three-dimensional space, right? It's not just a 2D series of areas. Oh, the peacekeepers are here! And this is the first case where I'm like, God, it really, yeah, it does need to be in 3D. Need to worry about it. They can't see you at all. Yeah, chill. Come on, man. It's, it's it fine. It still feels pretty weird. Hmm. Oh. Whoa. There's what do we got here? Vent here? But no way anyone could squeeze through that. It's not large enough for a person to get through. Yeah, what you said. And the cover is fixed in place. The only culprits who could get through here would be fairies or gnomes. <laughs> Or someone with a really silly forte. <laughs> I can turn into a snake. Watch. <laughs> You're hired. WDO needs someone like you. Of course. I'll do my best. <laughs> Which begs the question. Like, can anyone have a forensic forte? But they just don't effing go to the WDO? Like, I, I don't know. Okay, so that was not tampered with. Why would this still be a clue then? Yet again, there, there are red herrings. Are you good, Yuma? Jesus. All right. Nothing... Nothing really looks super out of place here. I sure hope I got all of those like collectibles and stuff though. The stuff here appears to be chemicals. There are symbols on each label. The one on the front is... Wait, is that the chemical from, you know, Etheria Academy? Oh, I know this symbol. Oh. It's probably sulfuric acid. Really? It's a highly acidic liquid that can melt anything. Sulfuric acid. I better not touch it then. Then again, I can't touch anything right now. Yeah, you'll be okay. How many times are gonna do that? Oh man, it's the peacekeepers. I better not places to check out, you know. jump in right. Wait, can we like, can we face through them? Oh my god, you can actually. Well, I mean, you can do that normally, so it's not too surprising. But. The peacekeepers are still talking. I wonder what else they have to say. Might as well eavesdrop while we're looking around. By the way, do you know anything about this dead old guy? 
Yeah, I worked security here. Geezer was famous in the worst possible way. He took advantage of people for his research and didn't care how many were sacrificed. Oh my god. He seemed to have gotten even more and more arrogant over the last few years. What the heck? Three years ago, the higher-ups canned his big project. He lived as a shut-in after that. A big project? Is it the same one Makoto mentioned? He was part of a big project that was cancelled in the past. He's shut himself in here ever since. There's really no way to verify now if that research was about homunculi. <laughs> right. This dude's still... It's not like... I I don't know if M Lil Mac actually hired the assassin or not. Why would he want the doctor dead? I can't think of a reason. <laughs> the old man was hard of hearing, so he couldn't really hear what anyone said. When it comes to other people, their words literally fell on deaf ears. And that being said, he could read lips. Oh, I see. But someone in a mask... Read lips? So we watched someone's mouth to figure out what they were saying? That's why he didn't want to talk to Little Mac. Lip reading? So that explains what he said back then. Right. Who the hell are you? <laughs> I refuse to speak with any disrespectful hoodlums. I keep uh, <laughs> noticing a lot. I'm like, oh, it's this. And then the game literally spells it out for you. Either take off your mask or present someone whose mouth I can view. Right. That didn't strike me as odd back then. I thought he was just being extra defensive. Back then, the doctor refused to talk with Makoto. It was because he couldn't read his lips due to the mask he wore. Between you and me, there were some suspicious rumors about the old man, too. What rumors? Yeah! I wanna know! <laughs> he said he shut himself in here for research. He was plotting something bad. Oh. Me with that sulfuric acid? And what's that? Getting revenge on the whole company? He was planning to flee from Kanai Ward. Oh, it wasn't that at all. <laughs> That's stupid. It's not even possible. Well, it's just a rumor. After what happened, I'll never know. Uh-huh. So he was planning to flee the city. I guess that's what the geezer was up to. Master, looks like you got some nice info since you turned into a ghost. Yeah, no kidding. These guys were actually kind of helpful. Trying to escape Kanai Ward would be considered betraying Amaterasu Corporation. And there's no way they'd let him live. Like, really. Did the hitman go after him because of this? Oh my god, you're right. That could be another motive, but... Then what was Yomi's deal? If it's not Yomi, if it's not Lil Mac, what's up? Someone in Amaterasu Corp who knows the doctor could have hired a hitman to kill him. But who? Also begs the question, who... Are they considered an accomplice by the Mystery Labyrinth? If the girls from Etheria are considered accessories to murder... I think it's only fair. I'm just saying. Not gonna lie, his character design, it was pretty good. Doesn't look like any other character from this game, though. He looks very distinct. Does anyone else feel that way? I don't know. I guess because he has a beard. Right, food cabinet. There's canned food and water bottles here. This all looks like food. There isn't much left. The guy wasn't right in the head if he was surviving for months on such plain food. Yeah, it's fairly strange. I mean, he also doesn't wear, like, socks, so. <laughs> I mean, God, think about how cold this floor is. F that. All right, I don't know if that was super important. More so probably just a, you know, thing to... Nice bathroom. Like, come on, it's, it's looking good. One, one or two towels, though? Bruh. Yeah, I get at least five. That's all. That's the bare minimum. And I'm worried about laundry. Okay, let's focus. There's an open notebook on the desk. Does it have to do with the doctor's research? It contains symbols and diagrams. Look at that picture in the bottom, though. That looks like the thing is sulfuric acid. Looks like he's splashing liquid on someone. What does it mean? Hmm. Wait. I remember okay. seeing this symbol on a shelf back there. So yeah, that was, I guess, his plan? I knew it. It's the symbol for sulfuric acid. So he was just like, I'm leaving no matter what. He was just panic planning to throw pocket sulfur at him? Like, what? If that's the case, 
was he trying to splash acid on people? God dang, he's crazy! Sulfuric acid would melt a person's clothes and skin. Why would the doctor want to do that? Hmm. Maybe he's a full-time scientist and part-time hater? I don't know. Melting clothes and skin. I truly got nothing. Notes showing a diagram being splashed with sulfuric acid. Well, his handwriting sure is lovely, but, you know, his, his methods were not. This is the doctor's computer. And this screen looks like it's in sleep mode. I'm sure it contains some important data, but I can't touch it in ghost form. I wish there was a way to check it out. Wait, can't we... Uh, there's no... Oh, well, you could get Shinigami to move the corpse around, but... It's so sad when you can't touch anyone. I totally know the feeling. That's why she's so grumpy. All she wants to do is be hugged. I guess. You just gotta give up. <laughs> Woo -hoo. I... I don't know. I, I, anyway. <laughs> I, I see, the, the guy in me wants to say, Oh, never give up, Shinigami. Maybe there's a ghost out there. Just... No, no she doesn't. You know. The Amapel we used is still here. I did promise to return it. Huh? What's this? That's a footprint. Looking at it carefully, there's a mark on the back of its head. Is that a shoe print? Was the killer hanging onto the grate and then they landed on the robot? Huh? Well, what's a shoe print doing there? I don't remember seeing this mark when we sent Amapel into the airlock. Could it have been from back then? When we tried to enter the lab, Amapel fell over. No, oh my gosh. That's maybe the assassin kicking it or landing on him. The alien culprit kicked it! It must have left a mark! Yeah! You did it, Master! You finally found a sign uh, of the killer! I mean, yeah, that confirms it. All that's left is to figure out how the culprit managed to get through that perfect security. Yeah, that's the hard part. That's the biggest mystery here. Right. But, I mean, that is part of it. In the critical lab. Gotcha. Dang, we still actually just found no evidence of the homunculi. That's wacky, bro. Like, I actually can't believe that. Are we... I guess I gotta hold on to their biggest mystery for one more chapter. It looks like there's only one more thing to look at. Oh, gosh. The knife is probably the murder weapon. It has a unique shape. Hmm? There's an inscription on it. I can see the letter F. Hey, shouldn't we move the corpse out of here soon? They're always telling us to clear out corpses quickly since the rain makes them rot so fast. But there's no rain indoors. Foulmouth Peacekeeper. You, you, you know this, right? Nah, we leave it alone until we receive further orders. Did you see the knife stuck in his back? It's the one that Fink the Slaughter Artist uses, right? I've heard about his knives inscribed with the letter F. They say that's his proof to his clients that he was the one who got the job done. So Fink the Slaughter Artist really killed the doctor? I thought those detectives did. Either way, it doesn't matter. Hey, don't you think a knife from a famous hitman would go for a high price? <laughs> this guy's the opportunistic type, I guess. Huh? You thinking of stealing evidence? You better not keep it all for yourself. So that unique knife belongs to Fink the Slaughter Artist. Speaking of which, the knife near Chief Yako looked strangely similar to this. So the doctor was, in fact... Killed by Fink? Hmm. A knife with the letter F inscribed to him. Yeah, I mean, that's just how it is. I do kind of wish, for all I know, maybe there is a side quest that brings him up, but Fink was at least talked about or rumored. If that would be the case, that would be really cool as, like, a payoff. And just just so you know, I, I, did my, I, I talked to a lot of NPCs in this game. I know it doesn't show on screen, but I really do... Just, you know, talk to just about everybody. And only Dr. show their Huesca. relevant stops. Dr. Huesca, ah, you perverted old man that I just met. I'm so sorry to see you die. I never even got to ask him about the homunculi. And now he's dead. Yeah, I don't think that's a coincidence. He has three wounds on his back. A knife is still stuck in one of them. He doesn't appear to have any other injuries. It's safe to assume this was the cause of death. Right. He didn't die from sulfuric acid. No, because then there'd be signs of that. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm like an awesome 
some detectives assistant. Yeah, totes, totes. Thanks. You've been a great help. Just actually just came out and said it. Say it again. Oh. Compliment me more. Stop it. She ruins everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, is that it? I'm gonna look at the grippers. All right, I'm out of here. That should be enough. Maybe that's all I can do. Bro. Well, it was fun while it lasted. I. We have to some. I got nothing. That should do it for the investigation. Truly. Taking a look around, there aren't any hidden exits or hiding spots. Yeah, the only entrance and exit is that door. There isn't even a single window. There's a small vent, but it's not big enough to fit through. And the cover is fixed in place. There are no suspicious spots on the walls, floor, or ceiling. And no secret passages either. And even if you got through the door, there's the dangerous security system. Yeah. So how did the culprit manage to enter the lab? It's the perfect impossible crime! Terrible. Actually, though, I don't want to, because obviously there's a solution, but I do not look forward to the labyrinth. Even if it's impossible, I have to solve it for the chief's sake and everyone else. For now, let's head back to the security room. I need to tell everyone about what I found. Personally, I want you to gain the willpower to solve it on your own. What the heck? You know I can't do that. Well... I shouldn't say that. Didn't I say last, like, case? Like, oh, if you really think about it, you'd have all the... So you know what? I will think about it. I will theorize for just a little bit. First thing that comes to mind is the vent in the labs. Those are fixed. The game keeps mentioning that they are fixed and cannot move. I do think it's possible when Amapal entered the room, the killer just simply hanged on. And then once the camera turned around, he landed on the robot. Or when we walked in, we, he landed on the robot. We also have a clue of Dr. Huesca's hearing issues, which the assassin could have been aware of. I mean, it wasn't necessarily common knowledge, but it wasn't uncommon knowledge either, you know what I mean? So maybe the assassin would have no issues sneaking behind him. What that will lead to, I don't know. The rest of this stuff is... Yeah, I just... I mean... The puzzle we're dealing with here is the actual, like, it's just these series of rooms. But, dog, we know that he came in here before, like, true. he had to get in here while it was still armed. And without uh, have, having built the effing device, right? How are we supposed to discern its weak spots? How would anyone else figure that out? Bro, I think we just have to keep in mind with what we do know for now, and I don't know, just, are we really, that can't be all the clues, right? Like, I really hope that's not all the clues. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, Vivian. hey, fancy meeting you here. <sighs> you don't look so happy to see me. I, I thought we were getting along in the gumshoe gabs. <laughs> yeah. What's the matter, Vivia? Why are you in your ghost form? I was wondering how your investigation was going. I grew curious. Oh, that's lovely, because uh, I could really use your help. Did you come to help? I didn't expect your cooperation. Oh my god, I just realized if he's in this form, can he see... I mean, he can already see her, so I'm just gonna just pretend like he can't. <sighs> Still, thank you. It's very reassuring. Wait, Master! You shouldn't trust him. He's plotting something. Mm, you don't say. What could he be plotting? Aren't you overthinking things? Oh, Yuma, you can't tell. <sighs> Honey, you're just overthinking everything. Uh, you're just being over dramatic. No, you can't say that, bro. So, what will you do now? Are you still going to pursue the truth? Yeah, that's the plan. Huh? Why wouldn't I? I finished investigating the crime scene, so I was about to head back and report to everyone. We need to find the truth. Otherwise, the chief won't get treated, and everyone will be captured. I see. So you won't be satisfied until you discover the truth. Isn't that the point of being a detective? What do you mean? 
Master, watch out! He's plotting something! Tell me, Yuma. Why do you seek the truth? Huh? We have to find the truth to fight the peacekeepers. Well, the truth is like cracks in a mirror. They're all so small, you must squint to see each tiny crack. Most wouldn't even notice them. They think the world reflected in the mirror is reality itself. If you did notice the cracks, would you destroy the mirror to reveal what the real world actually looks like? Oh my goodness. Where are you going with this? I guess... He's just trying to tell Yuma, hey... To what lengths would you go to solve this case? How many people would you hurt? I.e. Etheria Academy killing three high school girls, hmm, Yuma? Even if the moment the mirror is destroyed, it changes the world people can see forever. Oh, maybe it's even deeper. What? What, what are you talking about? Will we ever learn? I think, we're, I think we're almost at the end of the game now. And if shattering the mirror reveals nothing but darkness and chaos, even then, would you still seek the truth? Oh my god. Is feeding Shinigami, like, is she gonna become real? Is she gonna vor the planet, Vivia? Is that what you're getting at? I don't know what will happen when the truth is exposed. But right now, we need the truth to save Chief Yako and everyone from the agency. Everyone, including you, of course. I just want to help others. Are you saying that's wrong? And for that, what will you sacrifice? How much have you already sacrificed? Oh, no. I mean, it's kind of common knowledge. Huh? I bet you're the type who's willing to sacrifice yourself for the truth. One day, it will ruin you. You will destroy the world for truth's sake. M me Destroy the world? Th that's impossible. No. You've already stepped one foot into ruin. In fact, it's already up to your neck. Oh my god. Maybe it's because this Faustian bargain misfortune will keep coming our way? If possible, I'd like to help you. You are... a dear friend to me. Aw, shucks. I like you too, Vivi, even though you're terrified. How about it? It's not too late. Why not turn back from this path? He's really trying to save us here, but because of his very particular speech pattern, he can't just stop finding the truth or you'll vor the planet, Yuma. You don't like vor, do you? What? Can you just, what are you getting at? You mean to let us be captured by peacekeepers? That doesn't solve anything. I don't understand what you're saying, Vivia. Never mind. We need to report what I discovered to the others. I was just like straight up just disregarding him. <sighs> so you refuse to understand. You leave me no choice. No. What are you doing? Stop it. Vivia? What? Homie, you got a ghost knife. That's ridiculous. How you gonna cut me with a ghost knife? Ah, he took out a blade. This guy is nuts. I usually keep this in my pocket. It's not real. Like the ghost form, it's just a reflection of reality. So, slashing at you won't do anything. Oh, that's good. But, I warned you, didn't I? While you're in ghost form, your physical body is vulnerable. You wouldn't dare. Y you mean- What is up with- Why? I was simply returned to my body five seconds before you do, and then- I'll slice your throat open. Stop. What the dope? Given I am more familiar with spectral projection, I'm positive I can return to my body before you oh can. God. Why would you do this? Well, will you give up now? Uh, are you threatening me? I thought you are good at solving mysteries, Yuma. Come on. I only want you to give up on the truth. The truth you wish to expose. It's dangerous. Do you know about the homunculuses, Vivia? What the he What other reason could he have said that? I have a feeling. 
A feeling that our peace and quiet will be pulled right out from under our feet. If you won't stop, then I must stop you. For this world's sake. For the sake of peace and quiet. We just don't understand the whole picture. But come on, Vivia. Just say it. You gotta use your words. We know you love to talk. You're not making any sense. You're gonna kill me because of a feeling? I don't want it to end this way. I want to believe you, but come on. I thought we could talk it out. That's why I came here. You are, you're not even trying to meet me halfway. You're not even stepping outside your freaking apartment. Not even a pinky toe. Is that what it's called? Pinky? Yeah. But you refuse to give up, which leaves me with no choice. So it looks like this is what I must do. What? Farewell, you No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait! Uh, Master, hurry back! What? You had to race Vivia? He's an effing sloth. Of course we're faster. Hey, oh. you two. Quit fighting. What? Who is that? Yeah, the truth is cruel. Never in history has the truth been known to be kind. That voice... Chief Yako? He's actually dead. <laughs> no way. But you know what? Turning your eyes away from the truth and living a lie is harsh too. In the end, you can never look away from the truth. As long as you live, you must face that pain. So really, what's the point of worrying so much about it? When you're lost, believe in your own heart. That way, even if things end up all wrong, at least you can stand proud. Chief Yako, are you alright? Where are you? Impossible. There's no way he could have made it here with those wounds. What? Then that voice... What's going on? Perhaps it was his soul's voice as it separated from his body. That means... No way. Is he dead? I don't know. No, no. We need to find out. What are you doing? What? He's distracted? If he had tried to oh, kill okay. me. Okay. Why would he do such a thing? As of now's the time to be dwelling on that. I'm just at right. Chief Yaku is the main concern right now. Not whatever's going on with Vivia. I'm just at a complete loss. Yep, yep, yep. So go, go, go! I feel like this chapter is just like a like it's a train ride and there's just okay not a train ride remember the Amaterasu Express but like dude we are off the wheels now and we're just barreling into the oh please just survive Yako oh my god I didn't realize I was this attached to him Jesus